Rachel, can you help me? So Anna's here in our front row. I've got the same problem, and here to help us out is the dietitian, Tanya Zuckerbrot. Everybody welcome. Now, you know, I'm lucky that I live close to a big open green market, and you know when you go and you talk to the guy who literally grew your food, hey, this is probably pretty good for me. But once I get inside the grocery store, I, I do get very confused. And I think a lot of consumers do. Yeah, you're not alone. It's yeah. probably one of the most common questions I get from my clients and from friends and family. Mm. And that's because there are so many different kinds of labels out there. So today we're going to get to the bottom line for viewers to understand what these definitions are because they are USDA definitions. And then you know, to sort of help them figure out is it worth the money or not because these right. extra labels do then increase the price of the foods. That's true. And yeah. we all think it's better for us because of it. Right. Let's start with organic, the organic labels on the fruit. And sometimes you'll see organic next to conventional. They call it conventional if it's not organic. What does that mean when we see that? When something is labeled organic, it's, it's pretty much saying that these foods were grown without any chemical pesticides, insecticides, or fertilizers. And the way to know if something's organic is that you're going to see this seal. It's this USDA organic seal. Okay. And sometimes you won't see the seal on the fruit, but then there'll be a sign next to it that will say USDA certified organic. And organic is really becoming very popular. A quarter of Americans buy something organic at least once a week. So people are becoming more aware. And the reason people buy organic, one, it might be for health reasons. They don't want to consume any extra chemicals, of whether course. it's pesticides or fertilizers. Yeah. The other reason people buy organic is because they're looking to preserve the environment. So there are two reasons that people might buy organic. Right, it's a double. It's a, and so we are really getting value there. If we care about those things, we are getting value there. But if you are, you know, thinking about, you know, you want to really put your money, you know, where the value is, there are certain fruits that are going to have more residues than others. Mm. So, for example, if the fruit can actually be peeled, then you're getting rid of a lot of the residue that would be there from the pesticides. If you buy the conventional. No, no, if you're buying, right, if you're buying conventional. Right. So the ones that you want to buy organic are the ones that you're going to eat whole. That you're going to ingest the actual Exactly. Food. So we have examples here of strawberries, pears, grapes, apples. I mean, these are foods that you're going to eat, you know, as You're going is. to ingest the skin. Exactly. So these are the <clears> ones, <throat> if you're going to spend money on organic, spend it on these. Spend it wisely on these. Exactly. And now we're going to move on to the one that confuses me a lot. Free range versus cage free. Okay. Isn't that the same thing? It's sort of the same thing because it's based on what it's labeled. Free range only applies to the poultry, to the meat, and cage free only applies to the actual eggs. Free range means that the birds have actual access to the outdoors. There has to be a door present mm -hmm. in the hen house that allows them to go outside. Whether or not these hens choose to go outside, it's up to them. So just because something is free range doesn't mean that it ever actually ventured outside, but it had the opportunity to go outside. Okay, so that's, yeah. that's free range. Yeah, I know. So here's the coop. There's 10,000 birds and one little doggy door over there. Good luck, chicky wickies. Right. If you find your way out, you can fly around. So people who are really proponents of free range are like, you know what? what? If you really want to get the birds to go outside, put their food outside. That will then make That's them right. to go outside. But think about it. If it's a cold day, are you going to go outside? No, I wouldn't fly probably, the coop. Probably I'd not. Stick close so to the other As far as cage free goes, applying to eggs, because as I said, that term is only for eggs. Okay. It means that these hens were not caged. Gotcha. And that is definitely a step in the right direction. If you're really thinking about um, what's really humane for these animals, to Correct. take these birds out of the cages is definitely a step in the right direction. So if you really care about animals, then this is something that might be worth that spending. Matters to you. Exactly, exactly. But as far as the nutritional benefits, it's probably around the same. So it's really, you know... Negligible difference nutrition-wise, but just doing the, the right thing the for the animals. Exactly. Correct. Okay, let's move along. Yeah, go to the milk. Okay, okay. here we go. Um, when it comes to milk, some of the confusion is the hormone-free. Is there such a thing as hormone-free milk? Mm. It's really just a marketing ploy. And that's because all... Those dirty birds. <laughs> no. All animals produce hormones naturally. Even us as humans, we produce hormones. Of course there's hormones in milk. So there it's milk. Anything that's a liquid or flesh from an animal is naturally going to contain hormones. Gotcha. When it says hormone-free, what they're really trying to say is no hormones added. There is a hormone called RBGH, which is given to cows to help enhance the production of milk. So it's not it. saying it's hormone-free. What they're really trying to say is no extra hormones given. But milk, whether it's no extra hormones given or natural milk, it's all 
contains hormones. But I want everyone to rest assured that they spend over $2 billion a year within the dairy industry to make sure that all milk is inherently safe to drink. So whether you're buying hormone-free or regular milk, it's all healthy. She is brilliant at this. <laughs> and you introduced us at least, baby right. steps to this whole new lexicon, and I'm sure we'll bring this up again and again. Okay. But you lovely, thank you. And just because you're so healthy, we decided snack of the day should be healthy.